What would happen if you lift compressed earth block made with just 10% Portland cement and our native sandy soil, soaking in water for two whole months? And this block has been sitting in the bucket untouched. We made it over a year ago during our early experiments before we started adjusting the mix. Now we are adding clay rich soil to make stronger blocks for the home we are building out here off grid. But before we move forward, we are putting one of our very first blocks to the ultimate test. Stay tuned. If you've been following along, you might remember we did a 24 hour water test and then seven days test. In both cases, both blocks held up way better than I expected. I even jumped on one and even my husband, he's like 250 pound. Uh, no crumbling, no falling apart. That gave us hope that these blocks with just 10% cement are actually strong enough to build a real long lasting home. Try to forcefully try to break it, but it does not break either. So I think it's pretty successful. What do you guys think? Here we go. Moment of truth. Do you think it's gonna be crumbled all the way? Some block doesn't even look like block. And it was under the solar panel, so it was mostly shaded. Do you see it? It's holding the shape. And it's kinda mossy, I guess I'll say. It's kinda green. But it looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad at all. It's more like water looks nasty, but it's not bad. I think we put this in the water about beginning of January, maybe the end of December. And this is the end of March, so definitely good two months. So we're gonna take it out and see. So this is 10% of a Portland cement and just our native soil from here. It's really a top soil too. We didn't really dig it down or anything like that. But of course, if I rub it, like this, you know, dirt's gonna come off like this, but. What do you guys think? Now we have to stomp on it, jump on it and see how it goes. So since Eric has to work during the day, so I'm on my own. So he's gonna do his uh, stomping testing in a little bit or later. But this is my test. Like last time, it's holding pretty good. Well, this part is crumbling a little bit. But you remember like the last time the water was going in a little cavity that water was seeping it through so i'm not i'm not too worried about that i think what we need to do is um we would like to do the ballistic test too because i said in the original video uh earth block is fireproof soundproof bulletproof and termite or bug proof. And definitely this is well water, I wouldn't say waterproof, but it's holding up the water very well. But definitely we will try to do the ballistic test also. I decided not to do a drop test because it is not meant to be tossed around. So water test is more relevant. Um, erosion, long-term durability, those kind of stuff. 
But I think so far it passed the test. And this is only 10% uh, cement with our native soil here. So I think we may not even need a clay, even though we are going to put the clay because it is hard to move the block from machine to the pallet to where we cure it. So uh, we'll be still playing around, but I think we are in the right path. Am I just standing on it? Yeah, just stand on it. You are already on the camera rolling. Yeah. Both feet. Both feet. Side by side on the holes. Yes, please. And jump on it. I'm scared. Like how high? As much as you can put the pressure on. It's barely on this brick. Okay, now you can get it off of it, okay. and then you can just like like try to break it, just like I was stomping on it, if it's possible. Not breaking. Do you think it's good? This is just only ten percent. Seems good, but somehow I think you faked it. What? Oh. <laughs> I think we're successful. Think we so. may not even need a clay for that matter, really. Yeah. But but I said that um, we need um, it's easier with clay, the clay to pull it to out. Put, yeah, it that's exactly the only reason we might be using it. Sure. And we just curing processes. Uh, we have to uh, master it by misting it and covering it up and misting it for 14 days and stuff. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now get back to work. Oh, no. Make that money. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. From left to right, it's 10%, 15%, 20% rich soil. And all of them have 10% of Portland cement. And the rest of it is our sandy soil from our place. Um, since we could not do this uh, test last time because we just made those blocks and it was not cured. But I think it's ready to go in the bucket to get to the test. I think I'm going to just do 15%. That's what we are trying to go for. That's what we are trying to use to build our house with. So um, either way, because obviously 10% cement only with our native soil was good enough to make the block. So I guess clay is only for just bonding purposes fresh out of the machine. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put one of those blocks in the water until next time. Okay, so I'm going to put 15%. This is right here. The most likely this is what we'll be using to build our house. So I'm going to put this in the water as long as we can and see how it uh, re reacts to the soaking process. I'm going to try to use this one. It has a little bit of a cavity, so it might start bubbling again and somewhat kind of crumbly, but... So this test gave us a lot of insight. Even our old block made with sandy soil and a simple mix held up way better than I thought it would. Uh, it gave me more confidence that we are moving in the right direction with our formula. Uh, if you have done your own set of experiments, let us know in the comments. Uh, we would love to hear what it worked and what didn't. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. We are building our off-grid home from the ground up, literally, with these blocks. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.